welcome back to my channel. Channel. Today I am making this long overdue video. So you guys, we've been closed. We closed in December. I am here to talk to you guys about our closing process. I know that I've had some people come over to my Instagram comments and ask me about the closing process. So I'm just here to do a quick video on what it was like to close and what to expect. I was I was supposed to make this video a long time ago. Yes, you were. <laughs> the last house video that is on my channel, we were about to close and they had just extended our closing date. We were told that we were gonna close and we didn't. They called us a week before closing or around a week before closing and told us that, mm, sorry, you guys can't move in yet. You said nope. We closed six days before Christmas and it was a hot mess. Yeah. You guys, I don't recommend it at all. So before we were able to get keys, we had to sign the title and we had to do what was called a final walkthrough. That's three days before closing, we went to sign all the papers. It's really a lot of papers that you're signing. It's like that thing. You signed like 500 papers. I am not even lying. It was We also went to the bank. We had to wire transfer them the money for the house the same day as the appointment for the title company. I feel like it's really confusing because you're being told all of these different amounts up until your day closing of. day. Yeah. It'd be like this amount of money and then it'd be like, oh, this amount of money. And then it'd be like, oh, this amount of money. And then we'll call them like, well, what's the... What was the amount of money that we need? And I'd be like, well, yeah. we won't know until the day of. It did end up being lower than expected. We just went over to the bank and wired them their little money and that was it. So we signed the title, wired the money, and then we were supposed to do our final walkthrough. A revised notice to close. Let me just like run through this with you guys really quick. Because after the title company, after we wired the money, this was after that. We had our homeowner orientation. That was scheduled the day after. It really wasn't anything too big. They just walked around the house and showed us like our air conditioning, how to use that, our water heater. And they're just showing you how to use your appliances in your house. I did notice that things were not complete even though we were supposed to be moving in in like a couple of days already. I took it upon myself to like walk around the house and just like write stuff down that I knew needed to be fixed. So we had the home owner orientation and then we had actual home acceptance. That part was a little confusing because there was like a lot going on. At this point, keep in mind, we've already signed the title, sent the money and completed the home owner orientation. And the home acceptance is you getting your keys so that you could move in. We had already sent money before our home acceptance. We had already signed our loan documents before our home acceptance. So the night before we had gone to U-Haul, packed the U-Haul, and we thought we were moving in the next day. I mean, we've already sent the money, we already signed the documents, what else is there to do? Morning of the home acceptance, we came to the house, we were supposed to have the meeting at 10 a.m. to sign the paper saying we've accepted our home. We signed the paper, our U-Haul was out front. We couldn't move in yet, you guys. They weren't giving us keys. We were told before we even got our U-Haul that it was okay for us to get our U-Haul and to bring it with us to the home acceptance. We couldn't even put our stuff in the house. Someone told us it was okay for us to bring our U-Haul to the home acceptance. We got there, another person told us no, it could take up to a business day for it to be recorded with the county, for you to get your keys, for you to move in, and for everything to be processed and finished. Another person told us, okay, you'll get your keys around 5 p.m. and then you guys can start moving in around 5. So at 10 a.m. our U-Haul was out there and at 2 p.m. we still hadn't been able to move in. So after you sign your home acceptance paper, you can't get keys until it's been recorded by the county. It can take up to one business day. So I wanna say we were finally able to start moving stuff in around four. The sales office called us and said, okay, it's been recorded. You guys can come get your keys, your welcome package and start moving stuff in. And so that's what we did. Before anyone moves anything into like a new build, I suggest recording what your house looks like before you actually put stuff into it. In my previous video about the house buying process, you guys will see like some of the drywall up and partially what it looks like before we moved in. So there were things that definitely needed to be fixed 
and I took note of it right away. They left us a lot of extra stuff just in case we needed it to fix anything. There's a 10 day inspection, a 60 day inspection, and a year inspection I wanna say. I wanna say that there are like three inspections without the entire year. We've been in this house since December. It's April and according to the builder, we are still on our 10 day inspection. There are three different inspections throughout the year and this is where they just come and fix whatever. All the dumb stuff. Yeah, whatever you need to be fixed, they'll come and fix. They're still on our 10 day inspection because I don't know why. Why are they still? Because they haven't fixed what we need to fix. <laughs> our floor is still not put together in the second bathroom. I mean, it's put together, but like they're We're not. We're missing. Um, they're not finished doing what they need to do. Our kitchen island like had some issues because like there was a piece that was loose. Electrical was effed up. Our light switches didn't turn on. They were backwards. So yeah. one light switch would turn on like a light that was like way over there on the other side of the house. And then like another light switch would turn on like a light that was like way over there on the other side. So like our light switches didn't match the lights that they were supposed to. So when we first moved in, we didn't have heat. All we have is air. I want to say it was like 40 degrees up in here while we were moving in, so we were freezing. They told us, oh, we can't help you. Call the emergency line. Like, no, you're going to come fix this because we just literally moved in. Oh, the furnace wasn't turned on. They forgot to turn the furnace on. They're going to call us back and say, can you, climb in the can attic? you go in the attic? No, <laughs> no, we can't go in the attic. You can come over here and you can go in the attic and do what you got to do. Our downstairs tile needs to be replaced from something. That should have been fixed a long time ago. After moving, I would say to watch out for people knocking on your door every <laughs> yeah. single day. But we've had so many knocks on our door. I would say to also make sure all of your accounts are set up for the right people, like your electricity, your water. We did have a list telling us what we needed to set up before we moved in, but they switched all of our stuff last minute to electric appliances, even though we were told we were gonna have gas. And that's why they told us we didn't need to set up a gas account because there's no need for it. Turns out there is a freaking need for it. Make sure you guys have your home insurance down. Um, if you're going to go through the company, um, we went through them. Haven't had any issues. Save all your paperwork. I would say to get to know your neighbors if you can, just for like the future, because I mean, you're going to be there for some years. So Our like, neighbors are pretty cool. And if anyone ever asks me, I would probably never do this process again. I, I would, just not through Gary Holmes. So in my previous video, I told you guys that we were supposed to close and they told us that we couldn't. KB Holmes said that they were going to be responsible for housing us for two weeks since it was their fault that they told us we could move in and we couldn't. They told us to find somewhere to stay and to just submit receipts and they would reimburse us. That's exactly what we did. We found somewhere to stay. We sent them what they asked for and they didn't want to pay us. And we had to literally screenshot and what they put in writing and send it back to them. Had to get their management involved and they ended up giving us our money back. I want to say that that is all that I have for you guys in this video. I'm not going to do an empty house tour because it's not an empty house anymore. I'll do a video again when it's more decorated like when it's to where i want to be i don't mind our house it. is beautiful right now it's really beautiful yeah. but when i'm ready i'll do it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel say peace out peace. oh yeah